Well, a few weeks back, we did a video about the absolute worst states for RVers. Uh -huh. So I figured we would flip it and talk about the best states for RVers. Yes. So today we're going to talk about our top three states that we personally have been to. Yeah. So we can only speak of what we, we have experienced. So maybe there's some great states out there that would make the list that we just haven't been to yet. Correct. But we'll see. So um, let's get to it. All right. All right, so number three is Colorado. I love Colorado. Loved it. Man, it was one of our favorite states we've yeah. ever been to, for lots of reasons. Yeah. First thing, money. Money's important. <laughs> yeah. Not the most important thing, but <laughs> when you're traveling full time Plays and you're spending factor. your money, it, it plays a factor for sure. Yeah. And the sales tax in Colorado is 2.9%, which like is that. the sixth best in the US. So their sales tax is really, really, really low. Yeah. There are some other states who have 0% sales tax, but not the best states to RV in, yeah. in our opinion. I agree. Anyway. I love, there is a ton of stuff to see there. Oh my God. Yeah, we were just blown away by <laughs> everything. I mean, the mountains are just, they blow you away, man. Yeah. I can't describe it. No. We had a blast when we were in Colorado Springs specifically. Yeah. There was a ton for us to do there. Garden of the Gods, Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak was amazing. Yeah. We drove all the way to the, well, we didn't drive all the way to the top. We drove as far as they would let us on that day because they were building stuff up there. Yeah, they were platform. remodeling and yeah. stuff, but um, the snow drifts are like, <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. Twice yeah. as tall as you. Yeah. And of course you got Rocky Mountain National Park. So you yeah. got a beautiful park there. What else do they got? Well, for me, baseball, we went to a baseball game there. Yeah. Coors Field, and Coors yeah. Field is beautiful. Gorgeous. And they do this really cool thing where they have one seat that's dedicated for POWs, MIAs, yeah, that, that no one ever cool. gets to sit in. So yeah. veteran friendly there. It's really Very cool. Very cool thing they did there. I love because of my OCD, <laughs> I found it to be a very clean state. It was clean. People are friendly there. Yeah, it wasn't all junked up. You didn't see a bunch of trash on the side of the roads and yeah, things like that. Yeah, it's a well-maintained state. I enjoyed that. And we've only been out there one time, and we have always thought of ourselves as like ocean people or beach people. Yeah. But when we got out there, we're like, oh. We're mountain people too. <laughs> Maybe we're mountain people too, because we just, you can't register in your mind until you see it in person how majestic and how big yeah. and how grand. And it didn't get old. Like every day, yeah. seeing mountains all over, it just didn't get old. Not a fan of the cold? No. It, it, it's a state you want to visit yeah. in the, the spring and summer. But it's pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous <laughs> state. Loved it. Can't wait to go back. Number two is South Dakota. Yes. We love South Dakota. Love it. It is a really cool place, especially if you are a full-time RVer and mm -hmm. you're looking for a domicile. Yeah. It's one of those key states that would be a good spot to call home Yeah. because it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. You can stay one night overnight yeah. and you can become a resident of South Dakota. And if you go through escapees mail service like we do, mm -hmm. um, you can do South Dakota, Texas, or Florida. Yeah. And yeah. they don't have any income tax. So if yeah. you are a veteran, they won't tax your retirement. Yeah. Um, there's no vehicle inspections. Yeah. So Texas is one that escapees has, but they have vehicle inspections. We're trying For to stay now. away from that. Yeah, they, they might, are going away from it. Here might soon. be going away from it. Yeah. yeah. And so it will give you a physical address, and then you can have your mail sent there. And the registration and insurance fees are lower than most states in South Dakota. Sure. Because let's face it, not a lot of traffic in South Dakota. So yeah. not a lot of, not a lot <laughs> yeah. of insurance claims going on in South Dakota. Yes. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. For me, it was the stuff. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff to do in South Dakota. And it kind of depends on where you go in South Dakota. Well, though. yeah. I mean, we stayed in the touristy Rapid City spots. Yeah. yeah. So, we, I mean, you had Devil's Tower, you had Badlands, Crazy Horse, Sturgis. If you're motorcycle people. Rushmore. Yeah. yeah Needles Highway. We rented a motorcycle we while we were there and rode Needles Highway. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Just so much stuff. Oh yeah, and while we were there, we ran across the uh, set for Dances with Wolves. Yes, that was a cool little hidden surprise. We didn't even know that was there. <laughs> no. And it was nice because there's an Air Force Base right there. Yeah. We were able to stay on Ellsworth Air, Air Force mm -hmm. Base, so it didn't even cost us a lot to camp there. Yeah, it was a great stay. South Dakota for the win. Number one. Here we go. Big shocker, it's Florida. <laughs> yeah, and you would think that it would not be number one on our list because yeah. we've been forced to stay spend so much time there and we keep saying we're ready to leave but 
it is really the best for our beers. It is. If you put it all together. Yeah. So the first thing is the domicile thing. Yeah. And the no income tax thing, just mm -hmm. like South Dakota. Yep. Great advantages if you are looking for a place to call home as an RVer. Correct. And there's a ton of stuff to do in Florida. You can't ever say you're bored when you're in Florida. No. It'll I mean, cost a little bit of money. Oh, yeah. That, that fun ain't cheap. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, between the theme parks, all the state parks they have there, the bazillion beaches we have. Yeah, so if Florida, you run out of money, just go to the beach. It's cheap entertainment. Yeah. Just go to the beach. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of RVers out there that are military mm -hmm. or veterans and that are 55 and over. Yeah. So for both of those demographics, very friendly state. Very friendly. Oh my goodness. You have great winter weather. Probably the best winter <laughs> weather anywhere in the country. Yeah. And that's why you can hardly get into Florida in the winter time. It is hard. That's the downfall to it. Yeah. But. And if you do decide to make it your home like we did, mm -hmm. and we're residents there, but now we get resident discounts. Yes. So when we go to all the little theme parks oh. and even restaurants, it's just like you have to get into the habit of going in when you ask. Do you provide a residence discount? And yeah. a lot of places do. They do, it's amazing. And of course, you can't forget, it hosts the biggest RV show of the year. That's right. The Tampa RV show. Which we love going to. <laughs> we do. And we're going again this year, so hopefully we'll see some of you there. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, a big draw oh lord is yeah. the sports yeah florida is like the mecca <laughs> it for is the sports it really is. you got three nfl teams there you got two major league baseball yeah. teams you got two basketball teams yeah. you got two nhl hockey teams and it hosts three nascar races <laughs> a year say that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's there not to love about florida exactly <laughs> it's a hurricane there's something not oh to yeah love. the hurricanes <laughs> It has its downfalls. It does have its downfalls. <laughs> but so. you can get away from those. They don't sneak up on you. Like, yeah. I mean, so it's not like a tornado. Yeah. You'll see it coming for days and days and days. And you'll be like, okay, it's time to leave Florida. But, yeah. And when it goes through, then it's time to come back. Time to take a little vacation out of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Florida, by all means, is the number one RV friendly state. I'll be curious to know if you agree. <laughs> Well, there you have it. That's our top three best states for RVers. Yeah. So leave us a comment and let us know what you think your three best states for RVing is. Yeah. And make sure you go back and watch the video we did on our worst states. If you haven't already seen that. Yeah. And let us know if you agree with us on that too. Because it's good to get a good comparison of what we think the best and the worst are. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few more seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.